Hello everybody, SCP Slayer here, and welcome to a little bit of a mod review. So I was looking through uh, YouTube uh, recently, and I saw a bunch of anti-mob vote shorts. <laughs> I was just like, I wonder if there's a mod that takes care of that. And oh boy is there. Say hello to the friends and foes mod. It literally brings back all of that, all the mobs from the mob votes. It actually adds them in. So we have like the Copper Golem, which should have won that vote. Just saying, it should have won that vote. The Isolager, the Illusioner, the Mauler, the Moobloom, the Rascal, the Tough Golem, the Wildfire, and the Glare. That's all they have listed. So I believe that's all that's in this. Yeah, that's all they have listed. And apparently there's also zombie trap horses. But I don't know how I'd show those off. I, I, I don't know how to summon those. So I'm going to try and show off the other ones. So. We're going to start off with the copper gull. So we're going to need a copper block. These are just kind of... The, and if you're wondering, those are just kind of... Oh god, I'm still not used to this system. Those are just kind of in my inventory. We're gonna need a lightning rod. They're kind of in my inventory just to remind me of what the hell I need to find. And a pumpkin tarp. So what you do is this, and this, and this, and boom! We have a copper golem. Now, I do believe he should interact with, like, a copper button, if I grab one. If I can find one. Where is the copper button? There's a fucking copper button. Hey, little guy. There's a copper button there. There he goes. Even has a little animation. Oh, my God. I didn't realize his head would turn like that. Also, uh, for context, this mod does have both a fabric, quilt, and neo-forage version, and a forage version. I'm on the forage version right now. I'm on the 1.20.2 version. It goes up to like 1.20.4 on some of the other ones. But I just grabbed one of my mod packs and grabbed the one that was newest. They're all updated to the newest. No. From what I can tell. Because they're all updated the exact same day. <laughs> Uh, so, let's just get the other golem out of the way, because it's also the tough golem. It's going to move to the bottom of my hotbar. The tough golem is any piece of wool. Let's go with let's go with the black wool. And then some tough. So if I just search up tough, I believe it's this, this, and then this. Or is this the other way around? Yeah, it's the other way around. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, now we have a little tough call. Now he'll move around. And you can give him... Let's, say, let's, say, let's, let's give him a trait. Right. And he will do that. He'll display your item. And he'll continue walking around, but apparently you can stick him in place if you give him a honeycomb. So now he's stuck there. And also, you can wax... I, I wanted to leave that. Wax that, and now he won't uh, oxidize. As easily. Because yes, the copper golem does oxidize. My cat is bugging me. Go away. I'm doing something. You brat. Okay, well, I guess my cat's joining us for this one. Apologies. So yeah, those are the tough and copper golems. They work exactly as described. My cat is eyeballing something on my desk, so I'm going to get after her. Now, the Illusioner. 
the illusioner is something that we actually have in Minecraft to some extent. It's just not a functioning mob. Apparently this mod makes it a functioning mob. So, here he is. And let me just, like, grab a villager. So I don't feel like fighting him. Hey, illusioner. I have a villager. Are you not gonna illusion? You just shoot? Fine, I guess I have to fucking fight him. God damn it. I didn't want to. You know, we have Totem of Illusion, Totem of Freezing, Wildfire Crown. I don't know what these do. This is a decently good armor, though. Challenge complete. Who's the new king of hell? I have Wildfire Crown in your inventory. get all of that. I'm not worried about actually challenging him right now. I'm just trying to show off his illusion ability. Game mode. I wanted to put... I put I'm going to push space and I pushed enter. I'm an idiot. <laughs> ah, there's the illusions. Okay, you're fake. I'm going to use the real one. There we go. Got you. Okay, now we're given the Totem of Illusion. I don't know what this does. Do I have to put it in my offhand and then, like, fight something? Okay, let me just spawn another Illusion. Oh! Oh, I Illusion! Oh, that's cool. Okay, so I just spawn illusions of myself. These are actually really cool. How do, how do they do that? That's actually really cool. I'm still not sure what the hell this helmet does, but... I forgot to, forgot to do the time set. That's cool. That's really cool. <laughs> okay, so you, like, swap with your counterparts and then do that. Anyway, I'm gonna go game mode real quick. Because that's ridiculous. So, at a certain point, you just swap. That, that, that's all... That, <laughs> that's actually really cool. I love that. I wish that was in the game now. <laughs> Devs, please add the actual Illusioner. <laughs> so, yeah. Illusioner. Fucking cool. Uh, we have the Isolager, which I'm going to spawn another villager for, and hopefully we'll get to see some of the cool things. They love the Isolager. As you can see, he summons a fucking block of ice and deals ice damage. And he's just a little menace. I don't have the freezing totem. Wait, does he have a special thing he does? Hold on. Yeah, survival. Heal. Let me heal up my damage. I think I have to fight this thing myself. I want to know how hard it is. Because it drops a totem. I'm also curious what that does. Oh, you little bastard. Nah, oh, you couldn't do enough damage to me. What does this totem do? Hold on. If this works like other totems, I'm probably gonna have to almost die. So hold on. We're gonna take off all the armor. My 
I've got to set my spawn point slash spawn point. And then we're going to like, one of these is actually dangerous. You no, know, we're going to challenge the wildfire. I don't know what that does. Jesus, fuck. What did that do? I don't know what that did. I don't know if that did anything, actually. Oh, sorry, little guy. Looks like you're caught in the crossfire. I'm just gonna use this to try to quick. Throw away a joke, bitch. You might be the king of hell, but fuck you! Oh dear god! Yeah, you're definitely the king of hell, Jesus Christ! So yeah, this is the wildfire. Um, it spawns blazes apparently, and it's just a boss. Dodge out, dodge out, dodge out. It's a blaze, but actually deadly. Gosh, this is beautiful chaos, but Jesus Christ. Woo, hello, why am I over here? You know what? I'm gonna use the, il the illusion totem. I'm gonna abuse the new features in this mod. I have fire resist though. So I'm not taking fire damage, I'm just taking actual fucking damage. Oh, each time you hit it, it fucking damages the shield. If you hit it enough. Ah, god. This this helmet gives me fire resistance, which is nice. And I can run through this. Dear god. That thing yeets, though. Oh my god, I need to get rid of this blade. You annoying pains on my ass. Go fuck yourselves. Same with you. Alright, come on. Just me and you, bastard. Oh, you're healing. You healing bastard. That's right, focus on my clones. Clone Jutsu, bitch. I'm invisible. Oh my god, he got me. Oh shit, oh shit, I forgot to keep keep him apart, keep him apart. Shit. Woo! Hello. Goodbye. Give me my helmet, yeah, give me my helmet back. There's my helmet. I don't want that one. I want the one that makes me immune to fire. Because I'm fighting a fire boss. Oh my god. I'm not doing too bad, though. I think my food burned, though. Which sucks. And I can use the heals. Can you back up to full? Got that ground pound attack. The ground pound does the works! Jesus Christ! I need to give myself food real quick. Hold on. <laughs> that is an immense amount of pain. Also, I'm giving myself golden apples because Jesus Christ, this thing is strong. I fought a lot of mobs, but Jesus Christ, I'm decked out in what is essentially netherite armor. And that thing is still flooring me. Die. Woo! Careful, careful, careful. Come on. Come on, you bastard. 
Don't you run away, you little bitch. God, you yeet. Oh my god, I don't know if they have an arena for this guy. I have to go check on the nether. Full heals, full heals, full heals. This guy's broken. Jesus Christ, finally. Drop it like it's hot. That's funny. Oh my god. You guys just got to see the most ridiculous fight. Jesus Christ. Anyway, do I still have all the spawnings? I think I have everything that I haven't covered. <laughs> Actually, I th yeah, I think I perfectly got everything that wasn't that I haven't covered yet. <laughs> yeah, because these are all the things that I haven't covered yet. <laughs> All right, we also have moob looms. They're just the moob looms from from that Minecraft Earth spinoff. We're gonna go game mode real quick. Um, we also have. We're gonna have to go to a thing in order to do the rascal, but we also have the mauler. Which is this weird little thing? I'm pretty sure. What was it that he does again? Hold on, I have the documentation pulled up. One second. I'm sorry, I was a little too engulfed in that fight. Um, the Great Hunger. He stores experience. He eats your enchantments. That is what he does. He eats enchantments. That is basically all he is there for. I think he can eat enchantment books too. Where where are? You? I hate the new menu. <laughs> I hate the new menu system with a passion. Where is time set? There we go. Yeah, he can eat. He, he eats. He eats this, and apparently he stores the experience. And his head gets bigger. How big can he get? He gets that big. Jesus fuck, he's massive. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure. How do you get the XP out? That is my question. Uh, oh, you can just use bottles. So, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm having to like pause and look at the thing. Yeah, you just get a bottle of enchanting. So yeah, he just eats experience. <laughs> that is his sole purpose: is just eating experience. Next up, we have... I think we're down to the Glare and the Rascal. Yeah, we're down to the Glare and the Rascal. So, the Glare, I'm gonna have to go underground for. Luckily, there's a hot key for that. We're going Spectator. Um, if you don't know, it's F3N. <laughs> but yes, the Glare... I wish it was brighter down here. Oh, well, I can make it brighter. Hold on. Porch. I'm... I'm an idiot. I put a U instead of an R. <laughs> I just facepalmed in real time at that one. That was just me being an idiot. Sorry. So here's the glare. He apparently eats, um... Glowberries? And he will spawn in the lush caves. He also just shows you where mobs can spawn, I believe. At least that's his thing. Yeah, so he'll he'll come over to the light, and then he'll fly out to where the mobs can spawn, and then fly back. I believe that's how he works. At least I think that's how he works. Is he working correctly? That That's all it says, is that he will... But yeah, that's all he says. That's all it says. So I'm guessing he's doing it correctly. I'm not sure. My cat is attacking my arm now. <laughs> but anyway, we now have to go find 
hopefully there's an easy one. We have to find a mine shaft. Maybe I can slash locate one. I'm gonna slash locate one. Slash locate. How's it? Hold on, my cat just. What are you doing? Yeah. God dang it. Sorry about that, everyone. Also, there's probably not going to be many edits in this, because I don't like editing down these mod reviews, because I feel like it just takes away from some of the fun. <laughs> so we're just going to go to this mineshaft. Did I even move? I did. There's the mineshaft. <laughs> that was a weird appearance, but okay. Okay, so. The way that this works, apparently we have to find the rascal in here three times. So. That's not the rascal, that's the fucking... I, I'm holding the wrong egg, I'm an idiot, I'm sorry. How do I? Start being survival? How do you. How do you activate? Do I have to be in survival? I have to be in survival. Okay, good thing I'm decked out. I'm also gonna light it up for you guys. I forgot torches. Creative. Torch. And I'll grab a pickaxe just in case. And back to game mode. And also, why am I going this way? I heard him this way. He's behind this wall. Is there a way to get there without having to mine? I don't think there is. Wow. He's above me. I don't go up. Wow. Ah, here's where I go. I should have grabbed a shield. I'm realizing. Away, you creeper bastards. God, I hate them. I'm trying to go up. Get to the rascal. He's somewhere over here. Pretty sure he's back here. No? Oh, he's, behind, he's, he's right there. Okay. You've been caught. And off you go. Okay, so you have to find him three times. Hello. Was that him leaving, or was that him... There he is. Ooh, he gave you. He gave me a bundle. With some iron ore. Okay. Okay, so yeah, that's that's the rascal. He's kinda useful. Kinda cool. I kinda like that minigame. That's fun. Why is that not in the game? Mojang? Why is that not in the game? Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to end this video here. I hope everyone has enjoyed. If you should join the ranks of the SCP Foundation, don't forget to shoot that like button, slay those comments, and contain that subscribe button. Contain that subscribe button. Anyway, guys, I'll see you, see you next video, live stream, or the next. Peace, guys.